Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light as usual. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements in Taurus, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below. Um, or there's also a link in the description box for more information about that. You can also find information about private readings, about booking a live reading with me. Um, and also the links to my social media accounts if you're interested in collective readings. Okay. Or more collective readings. Okay. So what is going on with my Taurus collective? So we have justice in reverse. Libra energy. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Two of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify Justice in reverse. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Somebody feels like... <laughs> who feels like it's unfair that you're walking away or something? Okay, oh, one second. Look at the rest of the cards though. Talk about the King of Swords. The Star in reverse. Aquarius. Clarify the Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant. <laughs> wow. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Wow. The audacity of whoever this is that's coming through in your reading right now. Okay, guys, that's why I'm laughing because it's just, it's laughable. Two of Wands on the back of the deck. Who is this person who feels like, who doesn't <laughs> either, either, it can be one of two things. This person walked away from you because they didn't want to take accountability for something or they're having legal issues. Um, or somebody feels like more so what I'm getting intuitively, somebody feels like it's unfair that you have like you're a band, they feel like you've abandoned them or you're walking away from them. So just know, guys, that this is somebody that feels like you have done them dirty, you have done them wrong. Okay. They feel like because it's like something that they don't want to take account of. They don't want to take accountability for the fact that you're walking away from. They did something that made you walk away from them. Okay. So they're just over there like feeling like you're doing them dirty. You're abandoning them. And they're not happy where they're at. So it's making them. It's like instead of blaming themselves for why they're in an unfulfilling situation. They're blaming you because you walked away from them. <laughs> wow. Yep. You guys could have even maybe found out the truth about something. And I feel like you guys started, so you like, you got to a point where you stopped, you like, how do I say this? You stopped having faith that this person would ever be honest with you or tell you the truth about something or that they would make up some, make up their mind about something here. Um, I feel like this person, whoever this is, they are really realizing too that like, Oh, wait, there maybe isn't any hope left for me in the collective anymore, or me and Taurus anymore. Like, maybe Taurus really is walking away from me and, um, you know, disconnecting from me. It's like, and it's like they're seeing this now. Maybe they, before they didn't see it, they want, or they maybe didn't want to see it. But it's now they're, they're like playing, the, they're like, feel, they're playing the victim. Yeah. But this is also somebody who doesn't even know. First of all, some of you guys could have options when it comes to commitment. Like you could end up having, you could have more than one person that wants to commit to you. Others of you, this is somebody that doesn't even know if they want commitment with you, but they're acting like this. I feel like this person, yeah, see, overly sneaky. This person wants something. They they miss your, nur like maybe at some point you guys are very loving and nurturing to this person and very giving to them and you did want to work on something with them, but I don't know. <laughs> Definitely in a victim mentality. Ego. They're being very uncooperative. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like they want they want to be right. They want to be right about something here. Yeah, this is somebody that's very conflicted about whether or not they want to stay in a situation or if they want to walk away from a situation still. 
Yeah, they definitely did something. I feel like maybe this person was keeping a secret from you that they were indecisive about you or they had a choice. Um, mm, let's see. Tell me more about what, <laughs> this is crazy. Tell me a lot more about whatever's going on here. Eight of Pentacles, the reverse. Okay, what's that do with Taurus though? <laughs> so either this person wasn't putting any effort into you and you guys were very disappointed by what this, but it's like more so what I'm getting. That, that probably why is why, why was, goodness, I can't even talk. That probably was why you guys like maybe decided to walk away from this person. It was an unfair situation. They weren't giving, whatever. But again, this person is mad that they're not getting the results that they thought they were going to get by whatever they're doing. They're feeling like regretful now or disappointed or like I said, feeling abandoned. They're feeling a loss of you. They're not happy with like your lack of effort or like the fact that you're not trying to make things work with them. Tell me more. Instead of trying to put up with something, you're walking away and they're, they're mad about this. I want to say something. They may be a little mad, but it's like they're just, they feel, they're like, all like poor me woe is me i'm just i'm being abandoned and it's just not fair tell me more <laughs> yep ten of swords what's that do with taurus though the nine of pentacles in reverse somebody's jealous of you right now what about the nine of pentacles for taurus see the lovers in reverse gemini energy yeah you guys are in this energy of be, ooh, strength and self-love. I love this. Yeah, you guys have stepped into this your power here. Where it's like you guys know your worth. Yes, this has been there's been a disconnection. Um, yes, this person hasn't been choosing me or whatever they've been doing, but it's okay. You know, I'm gonna keep focusing on me. Um I'm gonna say I'm gonna start guarding myself from this person, and I'm gonna have self-love and self-respect here. Yes, I may still love this person. But I'm strong enough to, you know, disconnect from this person if I need to. And I feel like for some reason you guys felt like you needed to do this. But it's like actually paying off for you with the Ten of Pentacles. You got, you're about to build wealth, money here. Um, and I feel like, again, this person feels like they're being left out to blind you. You're, you betrayed them or something. Tell me more about how this person's feeling about Taurus spirit because this is ridiculous. The two, oh, two of cups, really. The page of wands reverse. See... I feel like this person does have love for you, but they were getting distracted by other things or they're just really lazy with their effort. Um, immature. They have a lot, a lot of self-limiting beliefs. Tell me more. Yeah, not a pen, they're lazy. It's like they didn't want to put the effort and the work into this. Despite them having feelings for you, they were not ready to put in the effort into the work in the work into this. And they still aren't, I feel like. So tell me more. Like, it's like this person's not for, what about four of wands? For some of you, Lord, hold on. Yeah, right as I'm saying that, for some of you, it's because they're married. Uh, for some of you, they're married to another person or they're in a living with another person. It's their fan. There's a third party interference here. What about the three of cups in reverse, especially with the three of cups in reverse coming out? See, there's some type of third party situation that they do not want to end. For some of you, if it, mm, I still think it is a third party here, but for those of you that it's not a third party, <laughs> I, I'm, I don't even, I do think it's a third party. But on top of that, this person doesn't want to conform to what you want them to do. Like, I don't know. It's like this person just wants you to conform to them. They want to win. Like, this person's super, like, yeah. But there is something that they're resisting letting die or let go. And it's keeping them stuck. Yeah. So, this part, this is somebody that maybe keeps coming back to you and then going back to somebody else. And coming back to you and going back to somebody else. And every time they go back to that somebody else, it's it's turmoil, it's trouble, it's drama, and they keep going. Like they come back to you and they keep going back. I don't know why. Or they feel stuck there. Or maybe they, yeah, why? What's this? Yeah, somebody feels, why? Oh, because they, yeah, they're afraid of, you know, King of Wands Reavers. Some of you guys are just not going to, what's that have to do with Taurus though? Temperance. Sagittarius energy, the sun, that was the sun, the three of swords. You guys found out about something here. They found it. You found out something or someone's going to try to reconcile with you with the king of wands reverse with it for their own selfish reasons. But you, you, you saw, you figured out something. This keeps coming out in the readings. You found out about this third party or something. You found out about a betrayal 
So now when this person wants to, I don't know. It's like they keep going back to a tumultuous situation, guys. I don't know why. All right. But they keep going back to somebody that, why, why, it's like, why aren't you getting the lesson? Why aren't you getting learning? You keep going back to a person where it's, it's hell on earth there. Why do you keep going back there? But okay, that's part of their lessons. You know, we've probably, a lot of us have done that before. But yeah, this person keeps going back to a tumultuous situation and coming back to you. Well, here, but it's like they always come back to you with very selfish intentions because for some reason they don't want to let go of that other toxic situation. I don't know why, but I feel you guys found out with the seven of swords, they were trying to hide this from you. So somebody's about to try to come and reconcile with you, but with the sun, right? I feel like they're coming back towards you very like confident too. That's what's going to really kill them with this three of swords. They're coming back thinking that you are for sure going to take them back and that they're going to be able to have another go around with you or something like that. Or with the sun, it's like they're coming in thinking that they'll they're going to have a positive outcome with you or something like that. And then they're going to end up in the three of swords, heartache, emotional pain, sorrow, trauma, grief, hurt, loss. Like they're going to start, they're going to be very regretful because I feel like also with the sun, you guys found out what they about what they were trying with the tower in reverse. They were trying to prevent a tower from happening here. I'm telling you, there was something that they, they didn't want you to find out about what they were still holding on to or what they were not letting go of. Right. They they knew that if they if you found out about this, it would be a tower. And whatever it is, it's these burdens, extra responsibilities, stress and exhaustion. Yeah, it could be somebody that. Ooh. I hope that's not what it is. It's somebody that they feel obligated to, guys. Retreat after failure. Yeah, something didn't work out. Something was a burden. It's like they keep going back to a tumultuous situation because still in their in their head, that situation is safer than choosing you. I know that that sounds crazy. But they feel like being with you is going to require big changes or it will be a very different and this was somebody that doesn't like change. For some of you, you're dealing with another fixed another fixed sign, okay? Um, and it's like still in their head, yes. And this person has issues with codependency too, guys. Like they would rather be within that toxic situation than be alone and or 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 with you. Like they, like they would rather either be with you or how do I say that? If you won't just allow them in your life, like. If you if you walk if you walk away from them, they're not gonna just be alone and work on themselves and heal. If you won't allow them to come in the way that they are right now, they're gonna find somebody or go back to somebody that they know will allow them to be in their life in this energy. Does that make sense? So this person has a lot of problems. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. But yeah, that King of Wands in reverse has been coming out a lot. But I feel like you guys still end up finding out what this person did and already did what was trying to keep you from finding out. Whether it was through your intuition or you, you found receipts, I don't know. But so this person's about to feel like just expect this person when they come in thinking that. They're going to have this positive, they, they, they think they can predict the outcome of how they, when they, how it will go when they approach you and it doesn't go that way. Oh, they're going to be trying to lay the guilt on you. They're going to try to guilt trip you, all that shit. Okay. So, mm, interesting. Of, co of course, of course, y'all. Twin flame. So yes, this is your unevolved twin flame. Yep. I was just thinking like. You're, you're, you're probably dealing with another fixed sign that's very unevolved or very or that's not awakened yet. Like, yeah, you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants you as much as you do. Their higher self, though, guys. This person is not in the energy of their higher self yet. But, yeah, we have the gods favor you. Now is the time your prayers have been heard and you will be succeeded, be vindicated. So, yeah, it's like they may feel like this is an injustice to them, but this is justice for you. That's probably what I'm going to name this reading. Yeah, the fight. Their inner now they want to fight for this. See that now they want to put in all that work and effort that they weren't putting in before. So this person had to feel that you were really gonna lose that they were really gonna lose you and that you were really walking away from them for them to actually give you what you deserve. So you guys need to contemplate that. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Mm. Gossip. 
there's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment but their vision too tell me more Ooh, that's a lot see what is the discovery yeah new perspective discovery i feel like what they're about to discovery discovery what they're about to discover is like see because it says they're they're about to gain a new perspective so it says they saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down left them feeling powerless and trapped this person i told you and whether you guys knew it or not i don't know if this, for some of you if you haven't heard from this person yet they still have it in their head that the two of you are going to be together and that y'all are going to be good and they'll be able to come back when they want to and that but they can continue to act like this right now but they're about to discover like they they're delusional guys i'm not to 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 put it it's almost like this person is about to find out that they can't have their cake and eat it too anymore that's exactly what it is mm -hmm. and it says feeling powerless and trapped yeah but yeah new perspective they've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors this is karma guys they're leaving all that is, and it's leading to this. Yeah, leave, they are leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. So once they discover that they can't have you and have whoever this other person is that they won't let go of, that they don't even have a good relationship with, it's going to make, it's going to kind of light a fire under this person's ass because as, as long as you would have allowed this person to have their cake and eat it too, they were going to take, they were going to do that, okay? Divine intervention. Yeah, they're experiencing many tower moments in their life where it helped them gain clarity on this connection. Yeah, they want to sleep with you too, of course. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. We have divinely guided. It says you have met your divine flame. Just follow the follow, just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Okay, hold on. Boundaries, heavy on the boundaries, y'all. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. So it's almost going to make this person, I told you, this person has like a need to win or conquer in them and it's like once they they feel like they can't have you anymore or you won't it's like they're if that's not going to turn this person away from chasing this is going to make them chase you like when you guys are saying i don't want you no more that's when they want see that's the concerning thing about this person this person likes to chase so it's like once this person feels like they have you what are they going to do because it's like this person gets bored once they feel like they have you but they love this is somebody that loves the chase i'm telling you it's like they're, yeah, they feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. So that's why it's going to be important to remain firm in your boundaries. Like for those of you that still want something with this person, this is somebody that you're going to have to like, kind of like really put your foot down with, like hold out on them. You know, you do what you feel is best for you in your situation. You don't even have to have anything to ever do with this person again, right? You don't have to have anything to do with them. But for those of you that are wanting this person, but you just want things to be different, if you take this person back quickly, it's it's like nothing's going to be any different because it's like once this person conquers you, they're going to go back. I'm, I'm hearing this. I'm not really, I'm just kind of getting that from what I'm seeing here. So it's going to be, because they still have a lot of healing to do. They're still in that same energy. So I feel like this is somebody that you're going to have, you and this person are going to end up spending some time apart or continuing to spend some time apart or that's what's necessary. They need to go through this awakening like i said because they're unawakened it doesn't matter if they you know they're fighting for you and they're telling you that they love you and they want this, this and this with you and they finally reel you back in if they're unawakened nothing's going to be any different if they don't see they don't have the same awareness of this connection that you do and of themselves like it's just nothing's going to be any different so you got to give this person that time and that space to go through this and go through all of this what this is i'm getting heavy karma here and with justice in reverse it's not good karma like this person has some some karmic debt that they need to pay all right and if you keep like letting this person come back it's kind of like you're blocking that for them they need to go through this it's like the person who you want them to be may, may be on the other side of them going through this awakening or going through this karmic debt um i'm not telling you to wait on this person ever okay but i'm just saying like they, you got to let this person go through the transformation. And if you keep taking them back and really not holding them accountable and not really like prove, making them prove themselves to you, it's like nothing is ever going to change. Um, but like I said, you don't ever have to deal with this person again. You don't have to take this person back. That's just for the people that do want something with it, like still want or desire something with this person. But yeah, we have awakening. The awakening press. So it's something about you guys choosing 
to set these boundaries and walk away from them. Yes, they're going to be mad at first, right? They're going to feel like this is unfair, but it's actually sending them into this awakening process. So it says the awakening process has begun. Um, they now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. And then this card's peeking out at me. This is what I'm saying. This is what this per the energy this person's going to be in when you do decide to walk away from them. They are stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have a, the, the power to change, to create a positive change. See, because this person, there's a lot of, ex this person was like, See, what, how do I even explain this to you guys? <laughs> Wishing well. There's a lot of excitement in the air. You awakened a new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibility. So if you thought this person didn't see the potential in you and in the connection with you, they see it. And it's like, but it's like they want it when they want it or something like that. And like, you're like, no, I'm not playing with you anymore. So we have game over. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. It's like they just dream and wish for everything. No action. No initiative. And it's like now they, they, they're going to feel like all of that got ripped away from them. Everything that they were dreaming or planning or whatever they were doing in their head and not sharing with you and not putting in the effort and the work into the connection. Like they're going to feel like it's they, they lost. Like they lost all that. Yeah. Look, there's, see, it's like instead of this person taking accountability, yeah, they wish they met you in a different, a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. It's, this person has issues with accountability, guys. I'm telling you. It's like they're not expecting to come back towards you and it'd be too late or you have moved on or you just choose to walk away from them. They are missing you because they've been waiting for you. They want to sleep with you. This person's more sexual minded, okay? They've been just waiting for you to come back so that they can sleep with you. Not thinking like, okay, I'm ready to commit to uh, Taurus. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to settle down with Taurus, but yeah, I will sleep with them. Yeah... And yeah, slip. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the connection is there. You know, when you have an energetic connection with somebody or you have a soul tie with them or you're dealing with your twin flame, you, you both of you feel the connection. But, you know, a lot of things can come between that. If, if like, you and your person aren't healed, you got a lot of childhood trauma. Um, but it's like, they feel, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of factors. But they feel this connection, I'm telling you. They feel it. They've always known. They weren't ready for it, though. And they've been trying to, like, just kind of, like, keep it more, like, on a casual level with you for right now or sexual or something like that. But they've always thought about what the two of you guys could be together in the future. They just have never really taken action to manifest that with you yet for whatever reason. Yeah, we have, it, it, yeah, I told you, intuition, but this says, I finally dawned on me, guys, what was I just saying to you? It finally dawned on me why I feel so drawn to you and why our connection is so intense and scary. I'm starting to understand my fears and my overwhelming emotions towards you. I, exactly. This connection scared them. Yeah, they felt like you were very different from what they were used to, or you were just very different from them. And instead of embracing your differences, it scared this person. This person likes to cling to people that they feel are like them or something like that. Or beneath, uh, I won't say that, but yeah. Differences of opinion and ideas and love. Differences in status, money, power, or culture. One awakened while the other is unawakened. Heavy on that. Heavy on the one is awakened, one is unawakened. Yes, you may see what this connection is, but they haven't been able to see it like you do. So you got to give them the space and the time to do that. Yeah, where right does I'm saying, I, don't, I swear I didn't even look to see what this card is, but it says divine timing. <laughs> Believes union will happen when it needs to. The universe is placing people, things, challenges, and more into your life when you can handle them. Believe that everything in life happens at exactly the right moment. Yeah, we have Scorpio. I'm sorry for accusing you of things you didn't even do. I'm so used to people hurting me. I assumed you were just trying to hurt me too. I should have treated you better. So this person kind of like was already projecting negativity into your relationship and into who you were and everything. And it was unwarranted. It was because this person needed to heal from past experiences or they were projecting the way that they are onto you and you didn't deserve that. Okay. Yeah. And separation. I'm taking a pause. I need to separate myself from you in order to work on my mind and soul. This is only temporary and I will eventually find my way back to you. Exactly. Yeah. Denial of connection. I told you they're not, they have not been ready to face this, but it says, I this is pretty much what I was just saying too. I realize there is something between us, but I do not have the time or the capacity to understand it. Everything is too much too soon and I have other things to deal with. So because they have a lot of other shit going on too, they just really didn't feel like they had the ability to process their feelings and emotions for you. What's that do with my, what does that do with Taurus? 
Sagittarius energy. So it says, I said a lot of things I should not have said. I said them out of anger and fear. Sometimes I say things that I even, without even thinking. I'm sorry for hurting you with my words. So mm, they regret something that they said to you or they're going to regret something that they say to you. Yeah, breaking barriers. Mm -hmm. See, they're about to start realizing the truth here. Realizing the truth with the understanding you must push forward with the connection. Yeah, you got to put effort and work into this. If you want it, you got to work for it. Removing obstacles that result in cultural differences, family situations, or sexual orientation, etc. Exactly. Yep. Wanting your forgiveness. Moving the obstacles, removing the obstacles and the barriers and the guardedness and coming in for your forgiveness at some point. I'm seeking your forgiveness. Even if I can't utter the words, I'm trying to also forgive myself for treating you unfairly, but I'm hoping I can guilt my, quiet my guilt. Yeah. Woo. Now they see this. Now they see, this is, this is a way, them awaken to the connection here. Great source of power. This power couple energy. The dream team of change. Reunion creates exponential growth. Highly influential and agents of change. If you and this person were able to come together in the right way, you guys would be very, very, you guys would be very powerful. I don't know how else to put it. Like you guys probably had, you know, especially if this is twin flame, you guys had a mission together. Um, They just haven't stepped into this yet. They haven't gotten there yet. But we have Aquarius here. I acted like I didn't care, but I did. I just needed my time and space to think on my own. See, they need this space away from you to come to these realizations. I didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because I wasn't ready to put in the work. That keeps coming out. But look, this starts showing itself to me. Yep. This I told, didn't I just say inner child wounds? Yep. Going inside to explore our authentic feelings and parts of us that we may have been, that may have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much by. Sorry, others. guys, I had an interruption, but I was about ready to wrap up the reading anyways. <laughs> Um, we are going to take this over to the extended reading to take a deeper look more at this person's feeling and feelings, intentions, guidance, timing, um, what you guys can expect to happen next. And we'll try to see when, um, that's going to be different for all of you, but we'll see. Um, the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, private reading information is in the description box, as well as information about a lot, a lot getting a live reading with me. And links to my Instagram and TikTok accounts where I do post collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the extended reading. Bye.